So they went radio silent, radio dark for days. And so we didn't know if the rovers were dead or alive. And we programmed the rovers to wake up at a certain time in the future. And it was very dramatic because all of us were there in the control room waiting for the data to come down. And we'd gone days without hearing from them. And we'd seen orbital imagery of the planet just clouded in dust. Would they be alive? Would they tell us? And sure enough, right at the moment, they woke up. They said, I'm here and I'm OK. Turns out, not all dust storms are harmful to the rovers. They can also be a blessing. Mars is riddled with dust devils. Dust devils that, instead of choking our roving ladies, kept them going long past their sell-by dates. And dust accumulates at the rate of about 1% a day, which means that, you know, after 100 days, you know, most of the solar rays would be covered by dust. And so that would mean we'd have, you know, a 100-day mission, a 90-day mission. That's what we designed. What we didn't expect is that wind gusts or wind events or dust devils or something would come along and blow the dust off the arrays. I mean, it's, it's like someone came by with a leaf blower and just dusted the whole rover off, and it was factory new again. <laughs> 